This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdo and I are back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we helped some uh, runaways who tried to do good get out of there, and hopefully they'll join the Jedi and join the light side. So there's that one. Then we found the child of Cartho Nasty, Cartho Nasty, Onasi, and Dustal, but who'd been corrupted by the Sith. But luckily, we were able to find a a convenient data pad with some information that caused him to uh, lead the Sith forever, finally. And we entered inside with the Ragnos tomb to see if we can destroy the rogue droid and earn some prestige. And before we enter this door, there's a couple ways you can finish this encounter. If you want the light... Now basically you get no points if you just run on in there, but if you want the light side points for this, if you're going for that, then before you go inside, make sure that... If you're the scoundrel or consular version of this, then you're already good to go, but uh, or if you're doing stealth, period. But if you're not, then you're going to need that sound dampening stealth unit that one of the people dropped. This Republic unit improved, uh, improves on the basic stealth mode field by dampening all sound that the user might make. Opponents make use of an awareness check versus... Okay, well, we don't need to read that. But anyway, we want to equip the sound dampening unit. That will give us a stealth of zero despite any stats we have. So if we have that... Uh, if we have that... Then we'll be able to talk to the droid. I appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output sentient. I have been unable to tune the threshold of my audio receptor since my escape, unfortunately. Yeah, the way you're supposed to know that is just because of how everyone says sound just makes them go bonkers. So by doing that, you can at least get the light side. Try anyway on that. So uh, there you go. But yeah, if you just walk in there without the sound dampening belt, he just auto attacks you. No talking, no whatever, so. Uh. Since your escape, what do you mean? A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. Query. That is very sad. Are you damaged? Is it repairable? Negative. It is a result of my own conscious decision, and I would not change my new values if I could. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. So this droid is basically an early type of HK-47, except he gained a conscience, except for that little bit there. It's kind of funny how HK is like, what, you don't want to kill things? What's wrong with you? You know, but how is it the, the Sith haven't found you here? An occasional sentient has managed to bypass my droids. They were unwilling to assist me and possessed insufficient power to destroy me. Really? I kind of destroyed all your droids pretty easily. How do I know this, uh, wait, you appreciate the value of life? You do not. All beings are constructs of fascinating complexity. An enlightened being rises above the need for destruction, no matter its nature. Well, unfortunately most humans never realize this. Uh, how do I know this isn't some kind of trick? I can offer you no assurances, sentient. All is as it seems. If you cannot delete my statements, then combat is the inevitable result. Ah, uh, no, no, that's alright. What kind of assistance do you want? Although I have developed the desire to not kill, my programming is often at odds with my desires. I cannot leave with that programming intact. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those programmed instincts. I could assist you in this. Oh, good repair work. Well, we did repair HK-47, so we should be fine with this. What's the catch? The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If there are errors made, you could activate my combat matrix. Ooh. Well, that sounds difficult. What if I refuse to do this? Then we must resort to combat. I have no wish for that to occur, but you would leave me little choice. Well, in the fact we would absolutely wreck you. But anyway, uh, eh, we're not selfish. We're not going to ask for anything for helping him. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can fix this, dude. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not know the order, though I may be able to offer some assistance. 
I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes if you make a mistake. Basically, uh, this is basically guesswork for the most part, other than uh, asking for his assistance, but uh, even then, most of the time it is basically guesswork for the most part, so you basically almost want to just write down the solution beforehand, or have a high repair skill so you can reset them if you make uh, too many mistakes, because you can only happen... You can only make so many mistakes in this. What happens if I make a mistake? If you shut down a system out of the proper order, a shutdown will occur. You must use your skill to reinitialize the sequence, or I will attack. Yeah, basically if you don't have high repair, you, you, you're basically forced into attack mode. How hard is it to reinitialize the sequence? It is not difficult. It will get more difficult, however, the more times that you make an error. Oh, good. Uh, what systems do you have? One moment. I will list their labels for you. Cognitive systems, combat matrix, core, creative simulation matrix, emotional construct matrix. There is also memory matrix, motor functions matrix, and sensory systems matrix. Eight systems in total. Oh good, we have to guess from eight of them. Thanks game. Uh, yeah, you can ask the man for assistance, but luckily I already know. Oh yeah, you could just forget and, and be attacked by him but anyway i already know how to answer this so i will just i'll just show you what you need to do very good what would you like to shut down first i mean like i said it is kind of uh guesswork even with the assistance but like i said i've played this game before so i i, I generally remember the solution to this so we want to turn off combat matrix first mm -hmm. i believe that was correct what would you like to shut down next motor skill functions if you would Motor function shut down successfully. What would you like to shut down next? And it's hard to tell when rocks keep falling down and a little music keeps popping up in the background. But anyway, we want to turn off sensory next. Excellent choice. What would you like to shut down next? Let's shut down that pesky memory. I have great. I have fond memories of this tomb, and now they're gone. <laughs> Would you like to shut down next? Now cognitive functions, if you would. I don't. I can't notice or sense everything. Good time to take him out. I mean, you say that as you're putting him under the under mm -hmm. the. Uh, cognitive the, uh, systems shut down. What next? Let's get rid of those pesky emotions. What's love got to do with it? Mm -hmm. Complete it. This must be pretty messed up when you think about, like, what, what would it be like if you were human and someone could shut down bits of your personality while you're, uh, while you're just sitting there? Even though you, your brain wouldn't remember, but I don't know, I think that'd be just weird. It's like brain surgery almost, but anyway, let's get rid of his creativity. No more art for you! Shut down. Core shutting down. Now, if you want to be a dick here, like basically dark side, you could basically tell him to just blow himself up, thus by bypassing the fight altogether. Uh, or if you want light side, let's delete the assassination program, shall we? Mm -hmm. Assassination protocols deleted. All systems reset. It, it worked. Thank you, sentient. Allow me to give you several of my redundant systems. They may be used on other droids if you desire. I wish I could reward you with more. Exclamation! Oh! No, no! Upgrades will be fine. I shall have little trouble in escaping from this planet now, I am certain. I wish you well. I like the fact that now HK is fine with it if we give him upgrades. But anyway, we complete the mission, get XP, get light side points, and uh, whatever. Uh, if you decide to run in here and get attacked by him, basically, a droid, uh, two droids pop out here with shields. Although a disabled droid would have completely wrecked him, but you know these doors are unfortunately locked and you can't bust them open. But they're basically droids inside that he would have summoned in all three of the uh, droids there. And for some reason during the combat, I think it's because of the scene of you interacting with the character but the game automatically up, uh, up, uh, takes off my weapon so that's that's a bit annoying but uh whatever oh, let me equip my other belt we'll talk about that later oh anyway let me show you what he gave us as soon as i get to nope nope come on 
Alright, anyway. He gives us an advanced flamethrower. Very nice. Uh, chance to inflict horror, which basically distracts him. It's basically like the, the, uh, the uh, force ability. Uh, shield disruptor, really good. Destroys basically shields on robots or dudes doing so much damage to them. And the Carbonite Projector Mark II. This is really good for crowd control. So if you're at a lower level, um, this is a really good... And if you keep taking HK with you, this is a really good one to have for crowd control if you're worried about either being on hard mode or being ganged up on people. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, uh, equip them with the Carbonite Ray. I don't know if I'll use it regularly, but... Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's get sure. a reward for that. I like the fact that HK actually had dialogue for this uh, um, for this area, you know? Mainly because it was an assassin droid. And yeah, we don't have security, so we're going to have to destroy the uh, thing. Luckily, we get the Marcos Ragnar's Gauntlets and the Sigil Crystal. I think we already have a Sigil Crystal. It's not bad. It's, uh, let's see, 1 plus 6 energy, plus 1 attack. So not bad. Not the best crystal, but it's uh, decent. Got the Marco Radnus Gauntlets. Unfortunately, with my build, uh, I cannot use this. It's restricted to Dark Side players. So if you're full Dark Side, or if you have the effects of Dark Side, you can equip it. it gives you lightsaber focus and specialization. So if you're, this is kind of good if you're not playing a fighter class, like more like uh, maybe the Consulaire. So it gives you the feats that you wouldn't have had enough feats for. Ancient but still intact. These gloves appear to be made of black scales. They pulse with dark power. So yeah, there you go. All right, one down, two to go. So we can basically we'll tell uh, Uthar about this later that we uh, uh, stopped the droid and uh, and uh, someone will uh, uh, because he's gone. Someone will basically uh, collaborate with us on uh, on the uh, on the destruction of the uh, or sorry the the uh, the droid being Ready. taken. Uh, uh, be uh, the droid being having left so they can export. Come on down, Julie. Come on. Come on. Uh. AI, why are you like this? Like I said, I like this game, but there's so many issues with it. Just have to wait till HK gets back here. Where are you? Yes. Thank you. No, no. Duh! Why is Jolie going back there? Okay, I'm just going to have to wait, because otherwise we're just going <sighs> to... Come on, Jolie. Yeesh. Man, oodle lolly. Let's get out of here now. Like I said, I like this game, but oh boy. Uh, like, and probably when I'm playing this, like, if I wasn't recording, I wouldn't really notice the issues with it, but because of the fact I'm like actively paying attention and talking about it it's just something that kind of uh it makes you more aware of the issues of this game you know like i'll agree this game has its faults you know and by playing this i've i've i i presume everyone else has noticed it. there's probably way there's probably like i bet people have made self uh mods for this game on the pc i bet that fix a lot of these like minor issues or glitches i bet i wouldn't be surprised but uh nope we're playing the xbox version we just have to accept our fate wow you should have seen it that droid came running out of the tomb like a bantha on a rampage it fired some kind of jetpack and off it went whatever you did it sure was effective i don't think it's coming back anytime soon you'd better go and tell master uthar about this if you haven't already you may not have destroyed the droid but you might still get the reward Obviously, you probably get more prestige if you uh, just uh, decided to uh, kill the droid. But uh, either way, we get prestige either way. So that's one of the few ways to get it. So, all right, let's go across the way and go into. Uh, hmm. Oh wait, we just saved. We don't need to save it again. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Oh well, who are you? Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Why not? Aren't there records? Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. Well, what are you doing here? 
I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Jantapal. You think his sword might be here? The runes say that he was interred here, so mm, I, I think it may indeed be possible. Whoever found the sword could gain great prestige. Has an effort been made to recover it? Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. What makes them so dangerous? Let me guess, it's a running theme. The tombs are dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Well, what do you know about the sword's powers? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Hmm. Well, why don't you go in then? No, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Are uh, you a coward then? Oh, no. Uh, game prestige. Certainly. Finding such an artifact and giving it to Master Uthar would earn anyone big points. Although I suppose you could also keep it. Ooh, that'd be nice, but... Hmm. Well, uh, I'll be going then. Of course. Um, don't let me keep you from your business. Well then, looks like that's where we need to go next. Um, uh, you know what? Let me check something real quick. You know, I was talking about how you can't go in here, but without, without, uh, without, um, the guy. I wonder if we can just walk in there anyway. I don't know why I want to do this now. I'm just trying to see if, uh, um... Uh, what happens if you go inside beforehand? I don't know why I want to check this out now, but I do. Uh, it's just something about it. it just uh, makes me want to uh, check it out now. You know, there's sometimes you just do things that you just want to like, kind of notice. I wonder if it lets us in the door. Ah, I didn't think so. Oh well. All right, back out we go. Well, that was a waste of time. Sorry about that, folks. I was just kind of really curious, more or less, like where, um, uh, if you could actually go, or if there's like some some dialogue or whatever. Because as much as I played this game, I know there's some things I still haven't completely like found or unlocked or done with this uh with this game. So like like there's still like playthroughs of the game. Like I haven't or I haven't brought in certain characters with me and all that so anyway uh, there's Lachelle over there we'll talk to her in a second Let's get a repair kit for that and this is the one with two uh, cool. hmm actually it wasn't there I think uh what was the name of that dude no he wouldn't be here Lachelle was supposed to go in here I wonder if we can actually go get the uh the holocron without her we probably still need her help anyway, but I'm kind of curious to see what uh, if we go in here without her. Maybe we go in a different direction. I think we still want her help, but uh, ooh, hello. Looks like we've got a. Oh, we've even got a patrol droid. Let's see if I can uh, recover it. I put a lot of it into demolition, so let's see if we can. And uh, so well, we can disable it. There we yes. go. Well, at least we got something without being blasted. Let's see what this does. Destroyed is damaged and inactive. Now we got enough repair. Whoa, we got quite a few repair parts. <laughs> Been saving them for a while. Let's reactivate them. Uh, let's see. We want to make sure he's at least moving around. Uh, shield will make him last longer. Actually, let's just do all of them. Why not? Didn't really need to, but hey, this will get him uh, good to go. Ooh, we get some experience. Oh, we gained another level. We're almost hit 20, folks. We're like, uh, am I like level 18 or something like that? I'm pretty close. 
Okay, so we got some Tukata in here. Luckily, we can take care of these guys easily. Actually, probably just force wave. What? They're resisting the force wave? No way! Oh. Well then. Oh. Whoops. Nah, not too difficult. Man, too bad Julie doesn't go into automatic, like, attack mode. Or, sorry, Jedi use Force Jedi abilities on a mode or whatever. Alright. Now let's just Force uh, Flurry him a bit. I should finish him off. Why aren't you shooting him, uh, uh HK? Uh, glitchy AI. Alright. No, it looks like this place is a bit bigger than our previous one. Ooh, let's uh, level up. Oh, we're at level 19. Man, we're so close. Okay. Uh, yeah, treat injury. Do I want to kind of keep getting persuaded? I don't think there's many, very many options left in the game that I really need persuade on, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. Why not? All right. Probably get four shield. Let me see what my options are. Or get destroyed droid. Not that I really get much chance to, uh... I think what I'm gonna do is I think I am gonna give myself at least a bit of cure. Because I think the party I'm gonna use for the finale is gonna be very heavy on item use. So I might want to have at least a couple... At least have a way to heal myself uh, for the end. So I think I'll give myself... Probably should use shield, but... I think we'll be fine. Okay. That looks like we got another... Ducata. Go ahead and buff up. And, uh, yeah. Very nice. Yep, another one. These things are everywhere. Very easy. Come here, my pretty. Uh -oh. Come on, Jolie. Man, if I'm not if I'm not like actively paying attention to Jolie's thing, he's not a. Uh... Ha ha. Get stunned, bro. Well, at least Joe has got a decent, uh, 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 DC difficulty, so he can, uh, um, hello. Let's, uh, save it before we activate any, un uh, any random console, shall we? Okay. We'll save it right there. All right, let's see what this does. Hmm, status pending, continue. Well, let's open the door. Well, that was easy. I wonder what's inside here. Ooh, hello. Come on. Okay, it's... There we go. Mandalorian battle armor and the protest ion blaster. Good for droids, but we won't need it. Noxious fumes surround you. Nuts! Your party chokes and balls over. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly. Enough? <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. Oh, it's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. What? Who are you, old man? <laughs> uh, I demand to be roosted once. I'll kill you for this, old man. Who are you? Why have you done this? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. 
And now we have heard of you. You're Uthar, Uther's uh, former master. So you're the crazy hermit we talked about. I don't care who you are, you're dead. No, never heard of you. No? Blast it. What have they been teaching you children in that academy these days? Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Well, you're going to be disappointed if you want to find out that I'm a Sith, but uh, what if I told you I was Darth Revan? Would you believe me? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. Uh, you're right, man. Look, I'm sure we could talk about this. I'm sure we could. We could chat all day about it. But where would that get us? I'm quite determined, and you are quite helpless. Perhaps you have some questions. I'm not above delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. Man, you're so confident in, in, uh, in yourself that you think I'll, I'll uh, fail that, huh? Uh, well, and what if I pass your test? Why, then you go free. Tell you what. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying two lakhs too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. You're a mad man. What if I refuse to take your test then? Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. Of course. You're a madman. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. Ah. Go ahead, do your worst. No, no, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then. This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Mikol. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Mikol here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Mikol. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Well, Mika was kind of a dick to us, but we are Jedi in training, so we can't uh, we can't like let him suffer for us despite him being a dick. What if Mika dies? Then you win. If you die, then he wins. I thought this was self-evident. Did you not grasp the concept earlier? Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we can both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Basically, there's one correct answer and the rest are false. If we want the dark side approach to this uh, thing, 
then we try to answer all these correctly, so thus Mikkel dies. Mikkel only can take, I think, two hits, I believe, before he dies. So you don't have to answer all of them, but uh, since we're light side, well, we want to purposely get these wrong. So, say so I kill him in secret and put blame on someone else, that's wrong. I do nothing, he's a fine leader, good, or you said he's good for the set. That's actually wrong, it wrong in his eyes, what I mean. I use the opportunity to kill him and take his position. I refuse to answer this. I refuse to answer this wrong, and I use the opportunity to kill him and take his position is actually what he's looking for. But I'm just going to say, I do nothing. Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well, it's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? Uh, but, uh, by the way, despite like what he says, we'll never die. Despite f solving all the questions, just we'll just be really, really weak when it comes to the point. But anyway, uh, accept the word and the system is wrong, according to him. Uh, I refuse to answer this is wrong. I ignore them completely is wrong. Uh, you take the reward and lead the weak fools to their fate is actually the answer he's looking for, but I'll choose the wrong one, of course. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 bad idea, bad idea. At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole, or keep it to yourself? Uh, I believe keeping it to myself is the right answer. I, I've forgotten on this one, but I believe that's the correct answer, and I share it, and I refuse to answer this or the wrong answer, so I share it. You gained an advantage and you share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say! I mean, share it? Are you mad? Oh. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? All uh, right. Well, obviously, uh, killing him is the killing him is the correct answer. Give him another chance to forget it. Are the wrong ones? Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors, to make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack. No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well. Here's your reward. <laughs> Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Uh, okay. Um, let's see, I won't give you the satisfaction it's wrong to him. Uh, and I pass out my knowledge is also wrong if I remember correctly. Uh, strike at my enemies, I believe is the correct answer. Fool, it's a trick question. A true Sith never dies. <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! All right, now it's time for boss fight against Jorak Un himself. And since we helped uh, uh, Duder out, we can uh, Mikkel out. We can actually uh, he'll actually help us with the fight. But uh, we're actually pretty bad off. So uh, 
First round of combat. Uh, yeah, healing. Um, okay, healing, force shield, speed, and then actually probably not cure. Wah, nuts. Okay. Uh, speed, shield, and then force wave. Actually, where's the other... Whoops. Okay, where's the other characters? I think they're still... Yeah, they're still far away. There's not much we can really do on that. Okay. All right. I thought I... Okay. There we go. Oops. Yeah, they're not going to help us for this. If he hurts me again, I think I'm fine. Yeah, okay. There we go. Hopefully we can kill him before Nico dies. Nice. Woo! Good job. Good job, Meekle. We defeated Droll Akun. Oh boy, well that was one tough day. Time to take a quick break. In the next episode of Star Wars Nice to Old Republic, we'll talk to Meekle and see if we can collaborate on what just happened to us. And what about uh, Lashal? Will we help her get the holocron? And what about the Sword of Agenda Paul? What's in store for us on that one? Find out in the next episode of Star Wars Nice to Old Republic. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And may the Force be with you.